How's it going, guys? Today we're going to be playing one of the most popular, if not the most popular deck uh, that I've come across in a long time. Uh, and the reason being is because the first master tier player in Legends of Runeterra uses this deck. So the deck is primarily based all around the Lees with a Darius Stone in there for the late game kind of scaling. And the reason it works so well is because it's all about early Nexus hits. So you get spiders down as fast as you can spiders are one cost two cost units and the reason it works so well is the fact that a lot of the spiders that you play have fearsome and if you guys don't know uh fearsome means that they can only be blocked by somebody who has three power or more and uh, early game nobody has that amount of power and if they do block it they're probably going to get instantly killed and they're going to be worth a lot more mana than your one cost two one so this allows you to scale significantly better than than these guys um again i've been playing this deck a lot recently i've won 21 games in a row i know what lurks so the there's definitely something to it and you need to try it out the only annoying thing is whenever you play a mirror deck so i'm playing against the same person and pretty much it's who gets rid of the other person's elise first but you don't actually need elise to win the game but she helps because she gives you more spiders and more spiders allow you to get early more uh, more early nexus hits and in turn get your darius down at at six mana cost and then you're going to get an overwhelm orientated darius which is like 10 par and you're going to just start snowballing from there so yeah if you guys have any uh any ideas how this could potentially be better or if you guys are using this deck or if there's any kind of crazy deck which you're using uh comment below i'm open to trying out all the kind of high tier high rank decks to see kind of what works in my playstyle. Like I love Heimerdinger uh, in, Le in Legends of Runeterra and League of Legends, and I feel that uh, look, look at this. Like, we, we've done we've done eight damage to his Nexus on the second round or well, third round, second third round. How insane is that, right? Next, then what's going to happen is next round we're going to do another, maybe hopefully four, depending on what he box with, and we're going to be able to get Darius down um, really really soon. And then his overwhelm is going to come into play and My end the game really, really fast. So is this, this is fantastic. The main downside is at least very susceptible to, to spells. Like get excited. Um, what else? What's, is he going to play a spell? Using as soon as Elise levels up. Av oh, dude, Avalanche! <laughs> Avalanche is actually terrible whenever you're playing this deck. Uh, the, the only downside to playing this deck is the fact that a lot of them. Are one cost two cost units so kind of any aoe spells uh you kind of wipe your board but it's not that big of a deal because all of the um all of the fighters are very very low cost units so you're not really giving up that much you know you're you're losing a little bit of your snowball potential a little bit of your um nexus aggression but with that in mind it's not a lot of love lost it's not as if somebody's playing something like ruination or judgment which in turn can just decimate some of your five cost six cost units so we're getting rid of his braum at least get rid of his braum And then we're going to be dropping our Arachnoid Horror, which again has Fearsome, and it's a 3-2 unit, which is amazing. So hopefully he's going to play uh, a 2 cost, or not 2 cost, a 2 power unit next. He has no mana backlined, so I'm 100%, guys, going to do at least 3 damage to his Nexus here. Which in turn allows me to play Darius next round, and uh, he's going to level up. Many tribes under one banner! He's gonna block with his 5-5, five five, but we're still gonna do three damage to his Nexus and bring it down to nine. Stand and defend. So right now he's probably thinking that he is uh he's winning. He's probably thinking, hey, I have five cards in hand. Fair enough, he's gonna be doing bringing my Nexus down to seven. I got the Trump card in my hand, guys. We're gonna be dropping Darius, like my blue eyes white dragon. And uh yeah, hopefully the overwhelm's gonna come into play. Black Spear is gonna be there as well. Uh, for whenever I trade my potential Arachnoid Horror. Arachnoid Horror dies. Use Black Spear to hopefully alienate any kind of thing he plays after his Garen. And in turn, we can hopefully get the Overwhelm rocking on something a little bit spicy. So, 
I'd like to see you try. He didn't want to attack with his guard in that round because I would have just cleared the field um, with my. Oh, dude, we got. We got Darius Decimate, dude. We're instantly going to do. He might counter spell this. Maybe it's a bit early to play that. We'll see what he does. I want to force him to use his mana, though. Because when I attack with Darius, remember, I have Overwhelm. So if he doesn't buff his Garen, I'm going to be doing 5 damage even if I kill his Garen, right? 3, three in, on his Nexus. I have Arach Arachnoid Horror there as well. Fearsome. Going to be doing five, 5 damage straight into his Nexus or clearing the field of Garen. So we'll see what he does here. He's big Brennan, boys. He's big Brennan. I'm playing hyper aggressive. You don't need to play this aggressive. I'm just kind of showing you the uh, the snowballing potential of the deck. I could still easily lose this, but Direct assault. nice, nice. And again, anytime I do a deck which is an expedition, I'm gonna start linking all the deck codes in the description. So check out the description for the deck code to use it, abuse it, and kind of see if it works for you. What's he gonna play, guys? What's he gonna play? I stand ready. He, might, he, he must be gonna buff his Garen. Yeah, here we go. Oh, Frostbite. Oh, shit, boys. All right. Is this... Is this the downfall of the deck? Frostbite? Uh, we should be able to come back from this. Um, all we have to do is do three damage to his Nexus. It's simple as that. He's gonna kill Darius. We do have another Darius. We have, I think, three Dariuses in total in our deck. Or two. Don't quote me on it. I completely forget. But we did just use... Oh. Wait a minute. Him doing that? Is he... Did he just scream himself over? Did he just scream himself over? Nah, he's not. He's not. He's going to actually... Hmm. We'll see what way this plays out. Yeah, dude, he just screwed himself. Uh, okay. Well, that means that he got obliterated. A, a bit mad that he did that. I think he maybe thought that, I don't know. It was... Yeah, I think maybe he thought that spell was very similar to that of Quick Attack. You know, my Rackham Horror is not going to hit back. But, yeah, that, that is not the way that, that spell works, guys. There are a few spells in the game which do act like that. But... That is not one of them. And we just won the game now. We 100% won the game. All I have to do is throw my Darius onto the field. And he's going to just hit three whatever he's going to throw at me. But he does have nine mana. So nine mana again. This lead into the game. Can potentially just turn the tides. Uh, especially if you have four cards in your hand. But hopefully me uh, doing this gameplay has allowed you guys to see what, how the deck is played. Right? The early game aggression. Like again, third round or second round we did... Like eight, seven damage to the. Uh, oh, he's in. Yo, he's in redoubled valor. Not a big deal. I would just tank it if he attacks. I'm just gonna tank it. It's not a big deal. I want to attack him for the overwhelm. Because even if he has six six with toughness, my overwhelm is gonna come into play. Who does not know the name Laurent? Harry, repost, you are toast. Ah, oh, uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna tank it. Even if I attack him with my overwhelm, I'm still gonna do three damage to the Nexus, which is awesome. Black Spear, see you dude. He shouldn't have attacked my spider there, to be honest. Clearing the field with the spider wasn't that big of a deal. Lost? Hey, we back in it, boys. He made an absolute massive schoolboy error. Killing killing his own Garen. That, that's game. That's game. I don't think he can really do much, but... Demacian Steel protects me! He got, he's got, he has three cards in his hand. Nine mana. I think he's going to probably have... He's probably going to have champions for um, our followers. Nice. So there we go, guys. Again, the very first Master Tier player 
in Legends of Runeterra. He's using this deck. So use it yourself, Climb. I I haven't really been playing that much ranked, and I've I've won 22 games in a row for this deck. It's it's absolutely unbelievable. Um, the deck code is is under in the descriptions. And uh, if you guys are new here, subscribe, turn notifications on, and again, comment below if you think the deck is good, bad, if you've played it yourself, you've come against it. I feel like it's it's pretty disgusting. Uh, this and another Heimerdinger control deck, which will be for another video. Uh, but until next time, bros, take it easy, peace out, and good luck on the Rift. Coming waves across the shore Oh, maybe